going to do the round bow cake and the first stage of this is going to be doing the ganache. So leveling the cake and applying ganache. Now we use ganache rather than buttercream because it gives us a much firmer finish, almost like the old fashioned way of using marzipan. So as you can see here, we have a, an 8 inch round chocolate cake um, which has been pre-leveled before use. Now before we actually bring the cakes out to use them, what we actually do is we level the cakes in the, the cake tin. So if you imagine it's still in the cake tin, we get the knife and we actually lean the knife against the rim of the cake tin, which then gives us the, the perfect top for the cake. So it's a really neat little technique to use and it just says you have to use your eye. Then what we want to do is turn the cake upside down and then this become, becomes the top of the cake. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut through the middle of the cake and then we're going to get the ganache out and get covered in chocolate and, uh, and, and ganache the cake. Okay, so ganache sounds like a, a strange um, word, but it's ganaching, um, it's just the same as buttercreaming. Okay, so, um, so what we want to do is uh, put the knife in the middle of the cake. Now if you make a fist uh, so your, your, your knuckles touch the board, uh, all we have to do is concentrate on the, the end of the knife and watch it coming through here because your hand's not going to move at this side. So very carefully, just cutting through and watching the, the end of the knife to make sure it's going through the middle of the cake. There we go. And then what we want to do is the back of the knife and just push it into the cake and give it a little wiggle. Nice technical term. Uh, and you can see there we've got this line down here. Um, so if we lift the cake off and put it to one side there, you can see we've got this nice flat surface. Good. So I'm going to just transfer it over to the cake board, like so, ready for the ganache. So I've got a bowl of ganache um, pre-softened pre, uh, here. Um, so this is just um, double cream and chocolate. Um, so it's one pint of cream to two pounds of chocolate. Uh, and what we have to do is just warm this up in the microwave just to soften it uh, uh, in preparation for use. Now, when we've got it in the microwave, you really only want to put it in for 30 seconds to start with, especially if it's just been brought out of the fridge. Um, so 30 seconds and then 10 seconds after that. So I'm just going to do it for 10 seconds, first of all. Just because mine hasn't come out of the, just out of the fridge. So you can see there, we've got a nice, a nice um, sort of soft consistency. Now when you bring it off the, when you bring the palette knife out the bowl, you should see it, it's got a structure there, it's not sort of pouring off the, the, the palette knife, so that's a perfect consistency. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to stick it to the, the, the drum itself. Um, so a little bit of ganache onto the board. So you can see when I'm using the, the palette knife, I'm actually holding it almost like your knife and fork, as if you're having your, your tea. Uh, so rather than hold it at the top, I want to hold it right down so I've got full control of the palette knife. And I'm getting the full width of this uh, palette knife when I'm using it, rather than just working on the tip. Okay. Uh, now once we've done that, uh, see if, you, if you get the tip and very lightly just drag it across the top, and that uh, enables me to, the, the cake to squash down and it's, it seals it to the board. Almost like when you see someone tiling. Okay, so just to centre it in the middle. Now before you squeeze down, if you just get a ruler, um, or even just at the back of a knife, and we just want to check to make sure it's in the middle of the board. So if you just check the 3 o'clock, and, and then 9 o'clock, that's good. And 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Excellent, so that's it in the middle. So then you can really push down uh, to make sure it's, it's in the middle of it, uh, that's stuck down on the board. Good. Now what I want to do is just pop some ganache in the middle. So you can see here I'm using quite a big dollop. So it's a luxury cake, so don't be scared to put quite a lot of filling in it. Um, there's nothing worse than cutting a cake and there's a very skimpy amount of ganache or buttercream in the middle. So a big dollop, and it does two things. It tastes better because it's got a good filling. But secondly, uh, it's much easier to spread it out. You don't get the crumbs touching the, the palette knife. Okay, so just spread back and forward. Like so. Now, don't worry about it coming over the sides um, of, of the cake. The, the, the main thing we're concentrating on here is having the, the ganache nice and flat on top. And you can see again, I'm using I'm using the majority of the palette knife, not just the end, to get it nice and flat. Because if any ganache that falls over the side, uh, we just scrape it off. There we go. Good. Uh, now, what we're doing is looking for the the line. Can I find it? There we go. So there's the line there. 
and then we've got the line of the, uh, on top of the lid. So we just want to join those up, like so, and then just push down. Um, just some CPR, just to get it nice and flat. And then just check the level of the cake, just to make sure um, you're happy with it. And that's great. Good. Okay, so if you're in the middle of the, the winter doing this cake and it's, you're working in quite a cold kitchen, all this chocolate around there has to be scraped off pretty fast because the, the chocolate sets very, very quickly. Um, so just get your palette knife, a clean palette knife, and just go round and just smooth off this chocolate ganache. There we go. So as you can see there, we've got the, the, the cake now filled. Uh, and then what you want to do, if it was in the summer, is just pop it in the fridge for maybe five minutes, just to allow the, the chocolate to set before we move on to the, the next stage. Okay, so the next stage, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spread chocolate all the way around to the side of the cake. Um, so the easiest way to do this is have your bowl, if you're, if you're right-handed, have the bowl to your left side, uh, to your right side, and you apply the ganache to your, to, to your, your left. So it's the bowl on the right and ganache to the left. Uh, so we want to scoop out a, a large amount of ganache uh, and then lean over to the left and spin it back and forward. So you can see there when I'm applying the ganache, I'm getting a nice smooth finish. Where if, you're, if you put it on the same side, you can't really see what you're doing. So it's much better to stretch right over the, the cake. Now as I'm adding the ganache to the cake, you can see at the top, I, what happens is I start to get a, a lip across the top, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so you can see there this sort of lip of ganache here, so it's a chocolate, a chocolate ring I, I got along the top. This is essential that we have this going all the way around, um, because when we cut it off and it firms up, it gives us that really nice sharp edge of the cake. And this is the, this is the way we get a really nice sharp iced cake, especially for wedding cakes because um, everyone wants the cake to be nice and neat. It's not really something that works that well with buttercream, so you really, really do have to use the, the chocolate ganache. So it's far more expensive to work with, um, but the, the, the um, advantages are, 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 much, are worth the, the cost. Okay, so you can see there, um, now you can see I'm applying quite a lot of chocolate to the cake, um, but that's, we can scrape that back off, don't worry about the quantity there. It's more about getting the foundations of the cake right. It's just like building a house, you have to get the foundations right. Um, or the house, the house won't be good. Okay, so, um, so that's the cake uh, ganache around the side. So now what we're going to use is a metal scraper to scrape off the excess uh, chocolate and in turn will give us a nice neat finish. Okay. So what we'll need for this is a jug of really hot water and a metal scraper. So this is the metal scraper uh, and there, it's one of the essential, uh, essential equipment that you should get if you're going to be doing cake decorating using ganache. Um, so it's much easier if we dip it in the hot water uh, and it just glides around the surface of the cake. Like so, okay, right. So holding the scraper, uh, you want to hold it with your, your fingers spread out and your pinky at the bottom and your thumb at the back like this. Uh, don't hold it like this like a sort of baker would do to scrape out the bowl of a, 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 a mixer bowl. Uh, much more with your hands, so you've got more control like this. Okay, so lean over the cake as far as you can. Uh, put the, the scraper against the cake and very, very lightly, just watching the surface, you want to go round and scrape off the excess chocolate and then brush it off, um, so you want to brush it off rather than just stop and lift it off because you end up with a line on the cake which doesn't look very good. So just turn around, so you can see there where I've brushed it off and I want to dip it back in the, the hot water and again leaning right over so I can see what I'm doing and then uh, scraping round again. Now it, takes, it sometimes takes a few attempts to do this. Um, it's, it's worth the, 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 the extra hassle just to make sure it's right because uh, it will make your, your icing, when you come to do the ice of the cake, uh, it, it's much, much easier. Okay, so I'm just checking as I go round. 
So I've got a little bit of a uh, gap here, so just again scraping round. There we go. And let's just have a look at that to see how, how it looks. Great. So you can see there, we've got this nice smooth surface, which is ideal for the sugar paste. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it into the fridge, uh, let it firm up, and then when I bring it back out of the fridge, this part here is going to be nice and firm, uh, and then I'll be showing you how to cut off the, the chocolate ring uh, without cracking the, cracking the side of the cake.